The NBA hasn't thrown in the towel just yet. It will pitch Sena MLA. Rajan Salvi for the speaker's post against BJP's Rahul Nardwekar. All parties have issued a whip for the elections of the speaker. Uh, the speaker will play a crucial role in ultimately deciding the fate of the Maharashtra government. It is the speaker who will take a call on whether the rebels can be suspended for uh, what uh, the Shiva Sena says, anti-party activities. That is the reason both sides are first ensuring that they get their speaker in the House. Meanwhile, Congress leader Bala Saab Thorat, uh, says that uh, they filed the nomination for Shiv Sena MLA Rajan Salvi for the Speaker's post. The Congress had the first claim, but he says that they sat down with the Shiv Sena and the NCP and the decision was taken together. Listen in. We have Rajan Salvi MLA उनका नॉमिनेशन दाखिल किया है कांग्रेस का पहला क्लेम था लेकिन हमने साथ में बैठ के महाविकास आघाड़ी के सब हमारे जो राष्ट्रवादी है शिवसेना कांग्रेस हम साथ में बैठे और डिसीजन लिया राजन सालवी का शिवसेना के उम्मीदवार Sohit Mishra is now joining us live from Mumbai. On, in fact, he's on the phone line. Uh, Sohit, does the MBA even have the numbers to get its own speaker elected? What is their strategy by pitching a candidate? And what will happen? All right, uh, we seem to be having some audio trouble there with Sohit. We'll try and reconnect with him. But in the meanwhile, let me quickly update you on what the latest development has been. The Agari uh, side is now going to be pitching a candidate for the speaker. They've decided on Rajan Salvi as a Sena MLA who will be uh, pitted against Rahul Narvekar of the BJP for the speaker's position. Now, there's a special assembly session that has been called. First, uh, a speaker will be elected and then uh, the Shinde government will have to undergo a floor test. Uh, Sohit is back with us on the line. Sohit, uh, you were talking about how uh, the numbers are placed at this point and what exactly then is the strategy of the MBA that doesn't have the numbers when it is pitching a uh, speaker candidate? Uh, while it was earlier decided that the Congress will pitch the candidate, the candidate is Rajan Salvi who comes from Uddhav Thakre camp of uh, Shivsena. Now, uh, the idea is that a uh, whip will be issued by all the three parties, which includes Uddhav Thakre's uh, uh, Shiv Sena, uh, Congress and NCP. And based on this whip, uh, what the Uddhav camp is trying to do is to ensure that since uh, as of now it has not been decided that who can issue the whip, uh, they want that their whip should be followed and all the rebel MLAs should also vote for Rajan Salvi. So this is what the strategy is as of now. And uh, as you know that yesterday, uh, the party president, Uddhav Thakre, had also issued a letter and said that Ekna Chinde is no more the uh, 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 assembly leader of Shiv Sena. So that has also been declared yesterday. And based on that, what the, as the MB camp is trying to do is to ensure that the rebel MLA should also vote uh, for Rajan Salvi. This is and as of now we happening. Uh, in fact, in Vidhan Bhavan, where I am present, and uh, after that, uh, they will be also speaking to the media. So this is decided, and that is what they are today. Is. On the other hand, uh, other hand, what we can say is that Ekna Shinde's camp had a meeting in the morning. They are expected to reach Mumbai by evening, and uh, 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 they are also planning to meet leaders in Mumbai. Such the meeting is expected between the BJP MLAs and Ekna Shinde camp's rebel MLAs in the evening where they will be deciding what their future strategy will be. So tomorrow there will be an election between Rahul Narvekar from the BJP and Rajan uh, uh, is in our camp of Uddhav Thakre. They have also uh, kept a candidate who will be contesting. So that is a uh, strategy that is being decided and an election is expected to happen tomorrow. Hmm. Post that, uh, we can say that we will come to know what the clarity is. If you look at uh, this entire election, they have also issued a letter saying that yes, a uh, uh, case is going on in the Supreme Court where the next hearing is on 11th. So if you are participating in this election, it doesn't mean that we don't want to contest the uh, case that is going on in the Supreme Court. Hmm. So that will continue on 11th. We just want this trying to see that if they could think that they don't have uh, as of now, because or don't have the necessary whip because if you remember, the deputy speaker had given right. uh, the whip okay. to the Uttar camp and that is the reason the Ekna Shinde camp went to the court. Hmm. So these are all the legal matters based on which tomorrow's election will happen. Right. And only post that one can, that who is going to 
but All right. it doesn't seem so that it, so it many thanks for joining us with those details we apologize for that audio disturbance there of course uh, uh, where Sohit is at the moment uh, uh, the connectivity appears to be poor but uh, Sohit was explaining to us uh, the strategy behind the MVA uh, selecting uh, Sena MLA Rajan Salvi as a candidate for the speaker from their end because that will get uh, they are hoping uh, some people from the other side the rebel MLAs uh, also perhaps to take a look at whether they would want to come back to the Udav camp considering that the speaker's position which the Congress said w should have idly been theirs but they've decided on a consensus candidate from the Sena. This is uh, to try to checkmate the other side but can that really happen? That's the big question at the moment.